Dear friends, welcome to your personalized podcast. Today, we'll explore how Social Network X is expanding AI chatbot access and Baidu's launch of AI-powered smart glasses, alongside Amazon's new AI chips and OpenAI's model updates. Additionally, we'll delve into the European search perspective by Ecosia and Quant, Writer's AI platform funding, and Odyssey's cinematic AI system development. Social Network X is preparing to expand access to its AI chatbot, Grok, to free users. Previously limited to premium subscribers, Grok's free version has been spotted in certain regions. TechCrunch confirmed testing in New Zealand. Restrictions apply. 10 queries every two hours for Grok 2, 20 for Grok 2 Mini, and three image analyses daily. Users need accounts at least seven days old with a linked phone number. Launched in August, Grok 2 includes image generation features using Black Forest Labs, Flux.1 model, and recently gained image understanding capabilities. Until now, these features were exclusive to paying users. By broadening access, XAI aims to grow its user base and accelerate feedback, enhancing its competitive edge against models like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. The Wall Street Journal noted XAI's talks to raise billions, valuing the company at $40 billion. Baidu has introduced its AI-powered smart glasses at the World Conference in Shanghai, intending to ship them next year. These glasses utilize Baidu's Erni generative AI technology, promising features like voice interaction, environmental queries, music playback, calorie tracking, and media capture through built-in cameras. This release positions Baidu as a potential alternative to Meta and Snap's devices, particularly since Meta's smart glasses, priced at $299, are unavailable in China due to server restrictions. Baidu has not disclosed the price of its glasses yet. At the conference, Baidu emphasized its AI advancements, unveiling an AI image generator called iRag and a tool for creating software without coding skills. Meanwhile, ByteDance's Dubao is leading the AI chatbot market in China, and the company has expanded its hardware line with AI-enabled earbuds. Join us as we step into the evolution of cloud computing efficiency. Amazon is set to unveil new AI chips as part of its strategy to reduce dependence on NVIDIA and maximize its semiconductor investments. These custom chips, developed by Annapurna Labs, aim to enhance efficiency in Amazon's data centers, cutting costs for Amazon Web Services, AWS, and its clients. The upcoming release, Trainium 2, is designed for training large AI models and is already being tested by companies like Anthropic, Databricks, and Deutsche Telekom. AWS, alongside Annapurna, aims to challenge NVIDIA's stronghold in the AI processor market. According to AWS's Dave Brown, they want to be a prime destination for NVIDIA while also offering alternatives. Amazon's Inferentia chips are already proving to be 40% cheaper for AI model responses, highlighting significant cost savings in machine learning and AI, especially on large-scale operations. OpenAI's upcoming model, Orion, may not show the same level of advancement as earlier versions, according to a report from The Information. Testers noted that while Orion outperforms current models, the improvement isn't as pronounced as the leap from GPT-3 to GPT-4. The pace of progress appears to be slowing, and Orion may not consistently outperform previous models in areas like coding. To address this, OpenAI has set up a foundations team to explore new ways of enhancing their models, especially with a limited supply of new training data. Strategies under consideration include using synthetic data generated by AI models and refining models post-training. OpenAI did not comment on this report. Previously, the company stated there were no plans to release a model named Orion this year. Next, we'll be discussing the impact of OpenAI's domain acquisition strategy. 
generative AI platforms are experiencing significant growth as users explore their potential. ChatGPT leads the pack with 3.7 billion global visits, surpassing even Google's Chrome in user numbers. Its growth, spurred by OpenAI's domain shift to ChatGPT.com, showed a 17.2% monthly and 115.9% annual increase. A notable traffic surge occurred in May 2024, reaching 2.2 billion visits. OpenAI continues to enhance ChatGPT with new versions and features, like ChatGPT Search, which offers real-time query answers. Other AI tools are also growing. Perplexity saw 90.8 million visits in October, with a 199.2% annual increase. Google's Gemini had 291.6 million visits, benefiting from new AI features. Anthropic's Claude and Microsoft's Copilot also saw significant growth. Meanwhile, Notebook LN, a Google-based app, experienced over 200% monthly growth in October, enabling users to process various information formats with AI. And now, pivot our discussion towards startup stories. Ecosia, led by Chief Executive Officer Christian Kroll, is teaming up with Quant to create the European Search Perspective, aiming to develop an independent web index. This initiative seeks to reduce reliance on Google and Bing, offering search results that align with European preferences and ethical values. Ecosia, known for donating profits to tree planting, and Quant, a Paris-based competitor, will equally own the European search perspective. Ecosia contributes cash and data, while Quant provides labor. OVH Cloud handles technical infrastructure. The European search perspective aims to tailor search results to prioritize socially responsible companies. This move is significant as Google and Bing, dominate 95% of the global search market outside China. The duo plans to test revamped search results in France by next year and Germany by 2025. With 20 million global users for Ecosia and 6 million for Quant, their mission is to expand beyond French and German-speaking demographics. The new index could be licensed to other firms, potentially training AI systems, and is expected to appeal to investors keen on sovereign European tech solutions. Ecosia's eco-conscious approach may offer a unique competitive edge in creating socially relevant search experiences. Ryder has successfully raised $200 million at a valuation of $1.9 billion to enhance its generative AI platform, tailored for enterprises. This funding round was co-led by Premji Invest, Radical Ventures, and Iconic Growth, with noted participation from major players like Salesforce Ventures, Adobe Ventures, and IBM Ventures. The startup, founded in 2020 by May Habib and Wasim al Sheikh, aims to solidify its leadership in the enterprise generative AI sector. Writer's platform offers customizable AI solutions for diverse enterprise applications, allowing businesses to connect data sources directly to AI models. In 2023, the company introduced Palmyra, its proprietary text generation model family. Notably, it developed the Palmyra X004 model using mostly synthetic data at a significantly lower cost compared to similar OpenAI models. The startup's current focus includes developing AI agents capable of managing workflows and providing no-code development tools. Writers' unique approach and efficiency have attracted hundreds of clients, such as Salesforce, Uber, and L'Oreal, highlighting its value in streamlining enterprise operations with AI-powered solutions. Up next, we're exploring Odyssey's global expansion strategy. Odyssey, a startup founded by Oliver Cameron and Jeff Hawke, is pioneering an AI system designed to enable creators to build cinematic worlds with full control over various elements like scenery, characters, lighting, and motion. 
They achieve this by equipping people with a 25-pound advanced camera capture system that includes six cameras, two LiDAR sensors, and an inertial measurement unit. This system can gather data in 3.5K resolution and 360 degrees, capturing physics-accurate depth information. The technology is reminiscent of Google's Street View Trekker, but focuses on generating detailed digital reconstructions of real-world environments, such as forests and buildings. Odyssey is channeling this data into AI models that produce layers of visual detail, which are then combined into complete virtual worlds. While these world models still have limitations, Odyssey has raised $18 million in a Series A funding round led by EQT Ventures to further develop and expand its data collection operations, aiming for a global reach. The company believes this approach will revolutionize how film and games are created by offering richer, more realistic generative tools. That's all for today's podcast, where we explored the expansion of AI tools and platforms, from social network advancements to Baidu's smart glasses and Amazon's new AI chips, alongside European search innovations and cinematic AI developments. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends, 